Dear students, please note down. The PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we will discuss digestive system of cockroach. Dear students, today we will discuss digestive system of cockroach, Periplaneta americana. This system, digestive system, is divided into two parts elementary canal and digestive glands. The elementary canal of cockroach that is complete and this elementary canal it is divided into three parts foregut, stomodium, midgut, mesentron and hindgut, proctodium. Dear students, the entire elementary canal it is divided into three parts. First of all, I will discuss foregut stomodium and the foregut is divided into following parts first part of foregut stomodium that is preoral cavity as name indicates preoral cavity the cavity lies in front of mouth preora in front of mouth and this preoral cavity which lies in front of mouth it is surrounded by different parts of mouth and this preoral cavity it receives food particles and it leads into an aperture that is second part of elementary canal or foregut that is mouth it means this mouth it lies at the bottom or base of preoral cavity and the mouth leads into another part of elementary canal that is pharynx this small tubular structure which is pharynx and it lies in head region the next part of elementary canal that is esophagus this small thin tubular structure that lies in neck region of cockroach then very important part of the elementary canal that is crop not down all competition students the crop it is the largest part widest part of elementary canal and this crop involves in the storage of food particles and entire functioning of this crop elementary canal it is under control of a ganglion it is visceral ganglion this particular part it, it is crop that involves in storage of food particles the next part is gizzard. It is proventriculus. And this gizzard is thin. And its wall is. It is small, thick, powerful, muscular structure. And the gizzard involves in mastication of food. For this purpose, the gizzard, this is the structure of LS, longitudinal section of Crop, gizzard, and midgut. Dear students, look here. Particularly this gizzard region, it is divided into two parts. Its upper part. In this region, six chitinous plates are present. In anterior part, upper part of this gizzard, six chitinous plates, and each plate terminates with a conical teeth it means in case of gizzard six conical chitinous teeth are present and these teeth are involved in mastication of food in this lower part of this gizzard region six chitinous pads are there having bristles which involve in filtration of fine food particles and this terminal part this hind part of this gizzard that produce a wall and this wall is another important wall it is stomodial wall and this wall stomodial wall it prevents regurgitation or vomiting of food not down very important point crop this one is the longest and widest part of the elementary canal it involves in storage of food 
द सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट विच इज गिजार्ड इट्स वॉल इज थिक पावरफुल मस्क्यूलर एंड दिस गिजार्ड प्रोवेंट्रिकुलस इन वॉल्स इन ग्राइंडिंग ऑफ फूड फॉर दिस पर्पज इट्स एंटीरियर पार्ट ऑफ गिजार्ड having six chitinous plates with six conical teeth it involves in mastication of food and its lower part that consists of six chitinous bristly pads and these pads involve in the filtration of fine food particles and the terminal part of this gizzard that produce is stomodial wall and this stomodial wall prevents the regurgitation vomiting of food particles the next part and the next part of the alimentary canal it is midgut it was foregut stomodium following parts of stomodium i have discussed first of all preoral cavity then the mouth in head region pharynx in neck region esophagus then the widest and the longest part of alimentary canal that is crop storage of food that involves here in crop and this gizzard for mastication of food and the gizzard it is proventriculus then the second part of alimentary canal that is midgut midgut or it is mesentron or it is ventriculus this particular part midgut it involves in digestion and absorption of food it means this is the main part of alimentary canal in which digestion and absorption of food take place and this last part of alimentary canal it is hindgut it is proctodium and this proctodium is further divided into three parts one is ilium second coiled part is colon and this last wide part it is rectum and the rectum it opens by anus this is all about alimentary canal of cockroach the entire alimentary canal that is divided into three parts first part is foregut this middle part is midgut it is mesentron this upper part that is foregut stomodium and this last part that is hindgut or it is proctodium no doubt this foregut and hindgut are ectodermal in origin and these foregut and hindgut are lined by these are internally lined by cuticle dear students but this midgut mesentron it is not lined by cuticle and it is endodermal in origin this is the only part which is without any cuticle otherwise this foregut and hindgut are lined internally by cuticle to prevent loss of water and the digestive glands which associate with this alimentary canal these are of three types first type of digestive glands are slavery glands in case of cockroach the slavery glands these are a pair of digestive glands one digestive gland one slavery gland that lies on each side of esophagus these are a pair of slavery glands lying one on each side of esophagus and each slavery gland no doubt each slavery gland having two glandular parts one two glandular parts and in the middle of this slavery gland one receptacle reservoir that stores saliva and the slavery secretion the secretion of these digestive gland slavery glands that contains amylase for the digestion of starch as well as it contains mucus for the lubrication of food second type of digestive glands which are these are hepatic cecca and these hepatic cecca are 6 to 8 in number these fine tubular structures are present 
एट द जंक्शन ऑफ दिस गिजार्ड एंड मिड गट और डियर स्टूडेंट्स नो डाउन एट द टर्मिनल पार्ट ऑफ दिस हाइड गट मिड गट दीज आर फाइन टिबुलर स्ट्रक्चर सिक्स टू एट इन नंबर एंड द सिक्रेशन ऑफ दीज हैपेटिक सीका दैट कंटेज अमाइलोलाइटिक एंड चाइन्स फॉर द डाइशन ऑफ स्टार्च प्रोटियोलाइटिक एंड चाइन्स फॉर द डाइशन ऑफ प्रोटीन्स एंड लाइपोलाइटिक एंड चाइन्स फॉर द डाइशन ऑफ लिपिड्स सिमिलरली द लाइनिंग ऑफ दिस मिड गट एंड दैट मिड गट लाइनिंग इज ग्लैंडुलर इट्स एपिथिलियम इज ग्लैंडुलर कॉलमर एपिथिलियम इट मीन्स द मिड गट लाइनिंग ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व इन द सिक्रेशन ऑफ डाइजेस्टिव जूस एंड दैट मिड गट लाइनिंग सीक्रेट्स ऑल थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एंजाइम्स फॉर द डाइशन ऑफ स्टार्स इट प्रोड्यूस अमाइलोलाइटिक एंजाइम्स For the digestion of proteins, it secretes proteolytic enzymes, and for the digestion of lipids, it produces lipolytic enzymes. It means, in case of cockroach, three types of digestive glands associate with this alimentary canal. These are a pair of salivary glands present one on each side of esophagus, and each salivary gland having two. glandular parts and its central middle part that stores saliva it is reservoir or receptacle and the secretion of salivary glands that contains saliva and the saliva having amy amylolytic enzymes and mucus second type of digestive glands these are hepatic cecca and these cecca are 6 to 8 in number and these fine tubular structures present at the junction of this gizzard and mid gut or dear students these hepatic cecca are present at the anterior part of mid gut and the secretion of these hepatic cecca having all three types of enzymes for the digestion of carbohydrates amylolytic enzymes for the digestion of proteins proteolytic enzymes and for the digestion of lipids lipolytic enzymes are present similarly the secretion of this mid gut as the lining of this mid gut that is glandular and mid gut secretes proteolytic amylolytic and lipolytic enzymes dear students the cockroach is omnivore it also consumes its young ones members of its own species it shows cannibalism and main digestion and absorption of food that takes place in this mid gut this hind gut tractum it stores temporarily the fecal matters and rectum opens via anus this is all about digestive system of cockroach In tomorrow's lecture we will discuss another important topic that is circulatory system of cockroach